of the refusal to, to lose their identity, which is strong, which is brave, which is to be emulated. Not to say their identity is so important that they would sacrifice their freedom or other higher things they've learned to appreciate. They're spiritual people. They're not embarrassed about it. Why should they be? They're not. In fact, it's a big part of what they do. There are spiritual societies. And so we were going to talk about some of that. The, the, you know, the different aspects of the crow is a perfect way to study and understand American history as well. These people are essentially the people that kick Custer's ass. And it's perhaps for that reason they have what they have. They won a battle. They beat the beast. The beast had to send a greater force and they settled. And so when you learn how that really happened, you learn more about America today. Yes, the white man, as the Indian would call him, was really a rather dastardly thing. Could not be trusted, did not use spirituality in his decision making, at least not in a big way. However, it was also deceptive. You could not trust him. Now, sometimes you could trust him and it would reward you. But he was not consistent. He was deceptive and double crossed you. Doesn't mean that the settler coming in with the promise of free land, start a home, raise a family, and have their spirituality uh, cherished among their peers and themselves. A family, a tribe. They were always a tribe, but they were smaller than the crow. 12,000 people. That's what Chief Red, Red Mule represents. He's a crow, Indian. He's not the chief, that's old coyote. Paran old coyote. This official chief. Now you go, okay, so he's the Indian chief. Did you know that to be in the pool of consideration for being a chief in the Crow Indian tribe, you must do four things. Four. Oh, those aren't really high qualifications. It takes a lot more than that to get to Princeton. These people are simple. These people are primitive. To be a chief, you only have to know four things and demonstrate their use, their knowledge of the skill. Only four. I could go into what they are, but when you you could just stop right there and say, hey, those aren't very severe qualifications. Only four things to be a chief. Anybody could be a chief. And that's the perspective of the white man, which is not really you and I. That's the beast, the American government that was coming forward and aggressive and the Indian met him, and guess what? Now we do. We have. And we do every day. And so we have a lot more in common with Chief Red Mule than we think. We really do. We have to understand our situation, what we represent to other people. But when people 
keep it right there. People to people, people usually act decent. They do. It's when they react to something that's not human that their reactions become more varied, more sophisticated, less honest. But we should talk about those four points. Four qualifications to be a chief. Did you know what, what, what they might have been? I'll let Chief Redmond will tell you about those. I don't want to steal his thunder. It's what we're going to talk about when he comes on the air. He's going to tell us those four qualifications to be in the pool of consideration for chief. Not to be chief, to basically get in, your, throw your hat in the ring, to be elected or chosen chief. So they have some pretty severe disqualifications because they're not easy things to do. And the chief has to do four of them. The guy in Princeton degrades it because it's only four things. We'll let the chief tell you about that. Uh, We're going to take a break. I've rambled and ruminated. WVRT Vermont and beyond. We have a responsibility and a joy to speak to America all over the world from 12 to 4 a.m. I get to see the America that's moving, the busy bee of America all hours. And this is crunch time in America. Truckers are getting stuff done, deadlines. You think it's a picnic? Well, uh, we'll have to ask Haas about that when we come back on WBRT, Vermont and beyond. I'm Buzz Collier. Thanks for joining us. Vermont and beyond. To talk to Buzz, call toll free 1 800 455 555 7219. Or if you are a trucker, call our toll free truck line at 1 800 272 4110 8521. And now, here's Buzz. Buzz Collier, back with you. It's just you and I on WVRT Vermont and beyond. Just you and I. It is. It's always about that. Just you and I. And that's the perspective that it's okay to look at the world from that simple perspective of it's just you and I. But it's a lot more fun to at least include two. Seems like the number two is significant in mankind. Us. Why is significant two significant? Because it's more than one. You're increasing. Not that two is significant in the fact that two is more significant than another number. Two is more than one. It implies growth from one to two. And then we can get into all sorts of things. And Chief Redmule and I have had many discussions about such things. And he will hopefully be back with us before tonight's episode, this segment we promised Chief Red Mule, but there were some technical difficulties. We don't apologize necessarily. We understand. He has a bad signal. 
is